All right, well, we are back in Anna Orlando, and I did quite a bit of soul farming just by killing those uh, six giant knights. Um, I would recommend uh, doing that as well. Uh, but I got my vitality up to 30, and I got my endurance up to 26, and I am now level 57. I also used all of uh, my soul items. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go on uh, throughout the game before we make our way uh, throughout uh, An Orlando. Uh, I'm going to kill these guys again. Um, because there are chests behind them. Uh, if you started farming these guys already, you may have tried to open one up, uh, which is a bad idea. You should uh, hit it with your sword first, like I explained in uh, just the last video. Just uh, because I believe that a couple of these chests are actually mimics. Um, and you don't want to uh, die to a mimic. Anyway, uh, I can't seem to figure out a way to kill two of them at the same time easily. I can do it, but I get hit a lot and have to drink uh, Astas. So uh, I just recommend luring one out at a time by uh, using the laws of uh, the, uh, the Pythagorean Theorem. Uh, but yeah, uh, this, this guy is about to die. So, yep, there we go. And we're going to get another 1,500 souls. Alright. We're going to do that. Alright. Okay. And now, we are going to see if this is a mimic. It is not a mimic. Let's go. We got a demon titanite. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. We now don't have to kill a titanite demon to get that. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Now we're going to go to the other side. Again, if you guys uh, are low on health and Estus uh, from fighting those guys back there, uh, obviously just rest at the bonfire before uh, going to kill these guys, but there are going to be a couple more chests um, to worry about. Uh, so yeah, the first thing I'm going to do though before getting those chests is I'm just going to come back here just to look at uh, if there's anything to do up these steps. Uh, these steps right here don't really lead anywhere we can go yet in the game. We will be coming up here later, but I am going to see if there are any collectibles, like, just on the way. Probably not. Uh, probably not much of a reason to go up here, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, so yeah, this is an area we are going to go to later, later in the game. We can't do it yet. Uh... Sealed by the Great Lord's power. Uh, we are going to open that, though, later in the game. I'm going to show you how to do that later in the game, but uh, we will be going there. I was just checking to see if there was anything up here. But anyway, we're going to go and kill those two giant knights that remain in this room so that we can obtain whatever is in the chests, and I actually don't remember what's in the chests. I think there's a couple of twinkling titanites in one of them, and I think, uh, I think at least one of them is a mimic. Uh, but anyway, lure this guy out. I've noticed that you can like go between their legs like this and just um, get behind them and get attacks uh, from the back. That's an easy way to deal with them. Uh, so yeah, that they occasionally drop items, but not not too often. Uh, I think I got like a sword or a shield earlier from farming these guys for the souls, but we already got our perfect sword. Okay, and I think we also have enough to level up. 
but uh yep we're gonna do the mimic test oh and would you look at that we have found ourselves a mimic uh, these guys you also want to be careful with because they can actually grab you they have a grab attack and their grab attack will actually will actually uh cause them to eat you we got a crystal halberd let's let's take a look at that crystal halberd there it is um 242 attack looks like there's way too much okay another mimic test not a mimic all right yeah we're just gonna be doing the mimic test on every single okay we got a twinkling titanite there all right so i'm gonna go back to the bonfire nothing really left to do here unless there is an invisible wall but i don't i don't think there is uh we are gonna be going back there up the mountain uh later on in the game but uh for right now this area is kind of useless but uh we did get our crystal halberd and i think if i upgrade that i can get the achievement for crystal uh reinforcement uh and i think i just need to get more just uh some more uh Twinkling Titanite, uh, but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, my Endurance is now up to 27. I just leveled that up, and uh, yeah, we're going to go on now uh, through the actual part of Anolanda. We were just uh, getting the loot in the chests. And uh, yeah, again, you can keep farming those guys, uh, you know, till you get bored, really. Um, I would recommend uh, just getting like getting vitality to at least 30 before this upcoming boss fight. Uh, we're not gonna kill the boss in this video. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a whole separate video about the boss um, just because I'm probably going to die a lot uh, but anyway we're going to come down here we have a gargoyle very similar to the bell gargoyles you can cut its tail off our weapon we're going to do that i'm going to get behind it do, 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 do. there we go gargoyle tail axe i think we already got that i don't know if it's a unique weapon but uh well, we did get it whatever it is yeah th these guys actually aren't too tricky to fight and i just i remember playing dark souls for the first time and i remember dying to this guy like two or three times and i'm being really tricky to defeat but it's really weird because now like i'm it, it's just not as hard now it's i don't know it's kind of kind of confusing but uh yeah i don't i don't really find these guys uh difficult but we got gargoyles halbert let's see if we have any of those weapons Okay, so it is the exact uh, same weapon we got earlier from cutting the tail off of the bell gargoyle. Alright, but uh, yeah, if you already did that, then you cut the tail off. You don't really have to worry about cutting the tail off of uh, this one. But if you uh, didn't cut the tail off of one of the bar uh, bell gargoyles, uh, you can come back and do that. But anyway, now that we killed that guy, we're going to come back here. And we're going to look for anything we can do here. Looks like nothing too special down here. Uh, maybe something to the left. I mean, I just like to explore every area. Alright, let's do the mimic test. Yeah, it's a really good idea in Dark Souls 1 just once you get to Sun's Fortress and later throughout the game just to uh, always hit uh, chests with a sword. But anyway, but anyway, yeah, we're going to come up here and 
go see if there is anything up here of use. Probably not, but you know, there isn't really har any harm in uh, checking. Yeah, looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. I don't think there is anything left to do at this section at this time. Okay, all right. So in that case, we're going to go to an area that is a little bit uh, annoying. Uh, yeah, we're going to go back down here and basically we're going to come onto here and we're going to walk up to this uh, church. We're going to go all the way up and we're going to drop right here and get into it. Yeah, it's uh, kind of not, not too hard, but like just uh, a little tricky uh, yeah these guys are not uh, not too big of a threat um, they will throw knives at you but uh, if you have a good weapon you can just one shot them like so got a throwing knife I'm gonna come up the ladder to uh, see Okay, so yeah, we are actually supposed to come up uh, the ladder. Hmm. There's an item on the chandelier. I don't think... I think there is a way to get that, but later on in the game, we're going to end up on the floor, and I think that chandelier has to come down for us to get that item. So I think we have to knock it down and then... Go to the bottom of uh, the tower. So yeah, we're gonna go straight. Gonna go left, right. We're gonna kill this dude. Okay. Okay. What we got here? Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, don't lock on. I I should not have done that. Uh, oh, pillage body. More throwing knives. Yeah, if you ever wanted to uh, farm uh, throwing knives uh, for any reason. Uh, and there's a good place you can do it. Okay, we just cut down the chandelier. I'm not sure what we get from doing that, but we're going to go on the right. And, uh, yeah, this part. Yeah, don't lock on any enemies. Uh, you probably will fall off a couple of times. It is a possibility when these guys do attack. They push you back a little bit. Um. So yeah, you just have to be really, really careful. Not actually too difficult to get past this. It's just a slight challenge. I'm just looking around right now. Okay, it looks like... Okay, well we're gonna... Okay, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Now, I want to know how to get to the left side right there. Okay, this guy is uh, throwing knives at us. That is uh, really annoying. Uh, we're going to kill him. Oh, shit. Okay, I almost, I almost fell off right there, but uh, I'm going to drink an Estus. Yeah, I don't... Actually, no, I think I, think I know the way to get to that side. No, no, I, uh, okay. I keep trying to press, uh, B to run, but, uh, but I keep backstepping. Okay, nope, never mind. I thought I could, hmm, huh. All right, well, well, hopefully we will figure out a way to get there later. Um. Yeah, we're just, in that case, going to go here, make a right, go down this uh, ladder. And yeah, so I've been talking about this for a pretty long time, uh, but the next boss, or maybe it depends on what order I go in, the 
next boss or second to next boss is going to be the very difficult boss that I kept talking about. Uh, very hard to kill, not easy in any way. I have only killed that boss one time, only once. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a bit concerned about that fight coming up, um, because I have tried to kill it again, but it took me about 10 hours uh, to kill it once, and, you know, at that point, I just got uh, annoyed, and I already killed the boss once, so I was like, hey, you know what, whatever. Um, Pull lever contraption does not move. Okay, so we're gonna come out to here. And, uh, there we go. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do before doing anything is I'm gonna come down here. Uh, and see. Okay, yeah, we're gonna come down here. Actually, no, no, I'm not gonna do that first. What I'm actually gonna do first is, uh, come up here and push this lever right here in a counterclockwise direction and this is going to move and now there we go okay so now we have a shortcut to get back here and we have another uh, gargoyle to fight uh, i'm going to cut off his tail just uh, for the help of it but we're going to get another uh, weapon that is oh did we even go to that time I, I, I just cut his tail off for the hell of it. Um, I didn't really need to do that, but I was like, hey, why not? Uh, uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, but we did get the gargoyle helm and the gargoyle's shield. Let's see, is that a good... Okay, it does decent... Um, decent uh, protection, but I'm going to turn this clockwise just one more time uh, to see if uh, we go anywhere down here. Uh, so basically this contraption right here, it just moves around. That's really it. Uh, yeah, this doesn't really go anywhere, but yeah, as we move this, we'll be able to go to different places throughout this map. So yeah, we're gonna go back up the stairs. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go spin it, uh, counterclockwise a few times. I just wanted to make sure that we weren't missing anything, but, you know, it is gonna take a little bit longer, but it is always best to get as many items as you can, as many upgrade materials as you can, explore as many areas as you can just in case there is anything that you could miss because Dark Souls will be a lot easier when you have everything. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna come into here. I believe this is the... Oh, okay. Okay, so this is the floor area that we just got to. Uh, before we were up there, now we're down here. Okay, there are going to be a couple more of these guys to kill. Nothing too serious. We're not really at a difficult part right now. These guys are really... And Orlando is hard, but not this particular area in, on Orlando. But we're, we're about to go to a part of that Orlando that is uh, a lot more difficult. Um... I'm wondering if I, I don't think we can go into the, that, uh, there's a sorcery there for, okay, that's a sorcery, so, yeah, for those of you who, uh, who want that, who have sorcerer builds, uh, I guess, I guess it is a good one, uh, I don't know too much about it, I don't really use sorcery, oh shit, okay, I thought I already, okay, well, whatever, uh, come here, bitch, 
Okay, there we go. Got some more throwing knives. Okay, we could drink. And, uh... Alright, we're just gonna clear the room with these guys so nobody sneaks up on us. Oh, look, probably some more throwing knives. Yep. And you'll never have to buy a throwing knife in Dark Souls ever because if you want any, I guess you could just kill as many of these guys as you can. Uh, this one is guarding something. I don't know what it is, but it is guarding something. Black Iron Helm, Black Iron Armor, Black Iron Gauntlets, and Black Iron Leggings. Oh, and a Great Sword, and a Black Iron Great Shield. Huh. I don't even think I can... Yeah, I can't use the shield even. That probably requires a lot of strength. Uh, yeah, um... I don't know if I want to, you know, fine, why not? Contraption, okay. So, this is a painting that you can jump into. I guess you can jump into the painting later on in the game. I don't really want to go there yet. Uh, I, I might go there, actually, for the really difficult boss, just because just cause I'm not looking forward to it, but... Uh, I, I really don't like that, uh, that next, uh, area. But anyway, we're gonna go out here. If you ever die, uh, at all, if you ever die, and you can't get this to go back, um, to the area it's supposed to be in, you're just gonna want to go back up that route, um, uh, from that church and, uh, pull a lever, it'll get this thing back to you, but we're going to turn this clockwise one more time, see what happens. Oh wait, no, never mind, nope, I wanted to do it counterclockwise, okay. Does it, does it go clockwise anymore? I don't think it, no, I don't think it does. Um, we'll turn it counterclockwise. And we'll do it again, one more time. Just got a little bit confused about the direction, but... Uh, yeah, we should be going down, okay. Anything on this side? Oh yes, okay. And then... There should be... Okay, so then I think if we go down one more, we'll get to, we'll get somewhere else. Oh yeah, and it looks like, okay, so, I don't know if I want to kill this guy yet, because I, I haven't actually ever beat him. I don't think he's too difficult, but I've, I've just never beat this guy, but, uh. Yeah, I don't want to do it yet, just because I'm halfway there to, uh, leveling up, uh. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Let's see what this does. Boosts Miracles. Okay, so if you have a Faith Build, that's good. What we're going to do here is we're going to put on the... No, I don't think it's that one. Which one is it? It might be the... I think it is the Dark Moon Seance Ring. Yeah, it's the Dark Moon Seance Ring. If you put it on, this statue will disappear and you can come down here. Uh, we're not going to go through the uh, mist yet, but I think... I think we can join a covenant. Yeah, if we kneel, we can join a covenant. I'm just gonna join the covenant, just get that precious gamer score. Okay, I don't even have to join it, but... Blade of the Dark Moon, 
I just got game score. I just came down here to do that. But, um, do not go through here. Don't go through here. You'll, uh, I'm going to come back to it. I just don't want to risk those 10,000 souls. Alright, but that is another bonfire, and, uh, yeah, there, yep, there's lever right here. This is in case you ever get lost, like if this thing right here spins around and you can't actually access it anymore, pulling this lever uh, will basically bring it back so you can get back up. So, yeah, if you ever die, just do that. Uh, there is another bonfire here. The next bonfire that we get to, we're just going to, okay, so, huh, in that case, where am I supposed to go, hmm, huh, hmm, Not too sure about that. Okay, because it won't go counterclockwise anymore. Okay, we're back to it being here. Oh, that's right. Okay, yep. I forgot that this is connected likewise to this part on the other side. This is the hard part of uh, on Orlando. Another lever there. Um, it does uh, the same thing. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to kill the, that boss next. I'm just I'm just not looking forward to it. Okay, both of these guys see us. That is not good. I don't like being ganked up by these guys. I also don't like the fact that I uh, I don't have a lot of Estus. But uh, the next bonfire we get to, we are going to be leveling it up to plus 20. And the reason is because we're going to need it. On. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely going to get a, enough uh, souls to level up at the next bonfire. I tried to ki uh, kill that boss earlier if I didn't have 10,000, but by the time we get to the next bonfire and get 20,000, we're just... We're already going to have to make our way back, and I don't feel like going forward and back. Uh, that boss, too, the one earlier from the mist that we already saw, um, isn't really, you don't need to beat the boss to actually beat the game, it's an optional boss, and, uh, we're, we're probably going to kill the boss because it, uh, does give you gamer score, or, or a trophy if you're on PlayStation. Uh. I'm probably actually, I might even try to 100% Dark Souls, like get all the achievements. Uh, can we come over here to open this? Does not open from this side. Okay. Yeah, this area is a little bit tricky. Um, go to the right. I don't think these scores 
open no these doors actually lead directly i think i think they lead directly to the next boss but we'd have to we'd have to open the doors um okay that's right okay we are on the path of pain all right so at this point i don't really blame you if you get your estus flask over over there, leveled up if you uh, level up the bonfire. Um, of course, I would recommend going from the firekeeper bonfire from earlier. It's just across the uh, this area. So these guys are uh, they're a bit annoying. Uh, we're gonna ah uh, come here. Yeah, they even do damage like. Even if you block, which always gets annoying. Can I throw pyros at these guys? Okay, that did a little bit of damage to both of them. Okay. Man, I really hate these enemies. They're just not fun to deal with. Oh, fuck. See, I, I fucking rolled there. Okay, whatever. Um... All right. Anyway, okay. Uh, really quickly, uh, I'm actually going to equip a longbow, and right here, I'm going to equip some poison arrows. Now, be very careful about using poison arrows. Um, we have them for a specific reason, and I'm going to use them for one specific reason. We are basically going to cheese dark souls i don't think there's anything i think we went down the wrong one yep we did but we're gonna uh cheese an area in the game completely cheese it okay so come down here it's the one to the right okay we're gonna bait these guys we're just gonna bait them these guys are a pain uh, they aren't really fun to deal with. Um, oh, and I only have three Estus left. Okay. Well, let's hope that doesn't, uh, become a problem. Hopefully it won't. Uh, if I die, I'll just, uh, oh, but I don't want to die. I have, uh, I have quite a bit of souls, and I only need, like, about 5,000 to level up. Okay, so now we are to the area where we are going to use poison arrows. These guys sit from a very far way away. And basically, they, uh, they're hard to kill, if that makes any sense. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do I equip, we do that, and then, there we go, okay. Alright, so we have those equipped. We want to make sure to be very careful here. Uh, hopefully this doesn't, yeah, we're going to want to stay to the left, go right slightly, hit them with, okay, see that puts in, okay, hopefully, okay, really quickly go back, really quickly step right. Okay, we already have something coming. If that hits you, it'll knock you off and you'll die. Um... So we're basically hitting him with a poison arrow, and uh, hopefully we can wait for him to die, although uh, normally I just come up there and uh, and kill them. You can do that, but uh, this will be slightly easier, I believe. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, well, see, they're, they're firing the... I, I, I don't completely remember how to do this. Um, did I get him? Come on, please tell me I got him. Ah, fuck. Okay, well. Okay, well, I don't want to waste any more. Hmm. Okay, whatever. I'm just... Actually, no, I think, I think there's an area where down here... There should be, we're going to have our shield up. Okay. 
Okay, that's I think that's how we do it. So down here, they're currently aiming and their arrows are missing into they're hitting the floorboard right there. Okay. So okay, that's all right. Okay. I'm gonna equip this. And that that is how we do it. Neither of them. Oh, but they are they are getting a bit too close for comfort. Man, I really hope something does not go wrong here. But yeah, we're gonna let it rip. Okay, maybe just go a little bit lower. Come on, did I did I even hit the fucker? Come on. Oh, come on, I got 22 of these. Okay, it's a little bit... Oh man, I hate aiming these. There we go. We got a hit in. And you can just uh, charge up here, go to the one on the uh, left first, or the right. Uh, and Okay, this one might be a bit more difficult though. Yeah, looks like he is. Um, yeah, we might need to go down a bit more. Okay, well. Is he even? Eh, whatever. I don't even. I don't even think. I think you have to hit them a couple times each to have the poison last. Um, uh, if you want, just look up a YouTube tutorial how to cheese an Orlando. Archers, that's all you're gonna need to search on YouTube and you'll find lots of oh shit. Yeah, that guy. Ah oh, fuck. Fuck fuck fuck. Uh that's why these guys are so fucking annoying. But yeah, we're gonna Yeah, we're gonna Actually, because I need probably more than five Estus flasks, and uh, I don't want to waste any humanity. So actually, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to level this back up uh, to the main level, and then I'm going to go to the uh, Firekeeper bonfire, and then I'm going to uh, rest there. And then make the journey back with uh, more Estus. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have to do that all again. I'm, I'm not gonna uh, cheese them just because it's a bit difficult. Um, Okay, yep, we're just, I think I can run past these guys. Uh, these guys don't actually follow you for that long. Uh, if we come out here, wait, I forgot to go to the bonfire. What the fuck am I doing? Hold up. I forgot to go to the bonfire. can't believe I forgot to, ah, come on. Yeah, go straight to the bonfire. Don't come up here, I... I've just played uh, this game so much that, like, now I'm just uh, kind of playing from muscle memory, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, up here. Yeah, this game is, like, really, really good, though. Um, definitely one of my favorites. whole reason I started playing it too was just because of how hard it was. I wanted to know how hard Dark Souls actually uh, was. It turns out um, pretty hard. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hop up here. I really need to get those uh, souls back. Got like 
16,000. Any amount of souls will be of great use at this point. Because, yeah, I need to get up my, uh, I need to get up my endurance a little bit, my vitality a bit more. Yeah, vitality, um, now that my vitality is at 30, uh, I believe that it is going to have a soft cap, and once we get it to 50, it's really going to have a soft cap. Endurance has a soft cap at 40, so I'm really only going to get endurance up to 40, because after 40, I don't even think you get more stamina like the green bar. It just, at that point, upgrades your equip load. Which, I guess if you're carrying, like, really, really heavy weapons, you could upgrade it past 40. That would be beneficial, but I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, I might actually go into New Game Plus, though. Uh, when you beat the game, you can go into New Game Plus. Uh, I think I've already talked about it a little bit, but basically the game will be harder. Enemies will do more damage, but you get more souls. Uh... So yeah, I think I think there was even a guy who got to like max level in Dark Souls uh, by doing that, by just keep going into New Game Plus. Yeah, because once we go into New Game Plus as well, like I'll be able to use more and more weapons. Uh, I might. I don't know if I want to do that though. But I, I'm fine. Okay, why am I fighting these guys? I don't need to do that. I, I keep forgetting. I don't need to fight these guys. I just I need to just run away from them. And hide, uh, yeah, because they will not follow us out here. Yeah, they they mind their own business once you're away from them. I'm just going to use arrows actually on these guys. Uh, you can shoot these uh, guys off, and I'm gonna do that because I don't like them and I don't want to deal with them. Uh, I am gonna use my normal arrows. Yeah, let's knock this fucker off. Huh, he just falls right off. It's ironic, too, because uh, these things have wings. And they're literally, they're literally falling off uh, like a little bitch. Uh, this guy, you have to hit him a couple times, and if you don't do it quick enough, he'll come back up anyway, but he will get uh, aggroed. And, okay. There we go. One more time. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, um, at least that one guy at the end, though, you can pick him off uh, pretty easy. One more time. Oh, oh, oh shit, okay. Okay, well, he fell off anyway, yeah. I don't know why these guys, like, fall off of anything. Like, they're literally birds. Like, literal birds. Could I actually... Oh, shit. Okay, we're already getting hit by the uh, Anna Rolando... Uh, archers. Yeah, I, those guys are really annoying. Um, nobody really likes them. Uh, and I got hit again by them. Yeah, they shoot at you from very far away, and they are really fucking annoying. But, uh, yeah, we're going... Oh, come on. You're not gonna follow us up here, really? You're not gonna separate yourself to make this easier. Okay, whatever. Okay. There should be another one unless he fell off. A lot of enemies in this game are, like, really, really stupid. Like, they'll they'll just, like, fall off or like, some of the enemies in this game are uh, just not smart. Uh, I'm gonna try going for the right one first. Okay, there we go. There is my blood stain. Wait, 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 no. Okay. Definitely. Oh, shit. Okay, that fucker almost just... Ooh, yeah. Okay. Okay, no, let's not do that. Yeah, these guys are also hard to kill once you come up here and... Uh, you only have to kill the right one, I think. We're not gonna... We're not gonna bother with the... The guy on the left at all, actually. In fact, he can't even hit us now because, uh... He's behind that pillar, uh, so let's go. Here we go. Or to the next 
part of the game. We're close to our next bonfire. And we can level up once we get there. Yep, we are really close. I believe the bonfire is in one of these two rooms here. No, it's not this one. Okay, let's leave. We go in here. Yep. There is our bonfire. Got our bonfire. Okay, I think I need a little bit more souls to level up. So I'm going to just kill this guy really quick. Um, go. These guys are a bit tricky, but nothing too difficult. Um, they're kind of like Black Knights. Uh, technically, they're not Black Knights, but uh, they have a, they're not as hard to beat as Black Knights by any means. Oh, but they aren't easy. And man, I still have to hit them three times, even. Hmm. All right, well, you got a, a thousand for that. Okay, mimic test passed. We got three sunlight medals. Hell yeah. We actually, those are actually very useful for getting a certain, uh, certain miracle. I keep wanting to say incantations because that is what you uh, do with the faith in Elden Ring but yeah I'm gonna get my endurance up to 28. Uh, we do actually want a pretty high equip load because we do want to be able to move fast and we definitely we definitely want to use Havel's ring so we can go faster. guess right now we'll, we'll just use actually no I'm gonna use the uh, covetous gold serpent ring until I start fighting the boss uh, I'm gonna show you where the boss is we're not gonna deal with the boss this uh, video we're gonna deal with it <laughs> next video um, yeah that's not gonna be fun I don't know why I'm going back in here um, probably just because I used to farm these guys uh, just because this boss is very hard, so I used to just, every couple of attempts that I failed, I used to just try to get my level up a little bit more, and I would, like, kill all of these guys uh, to do that. Uh, so I'm kind of just used to uh, going in a certain direction just to kill everybody. But, um, yeah, there is a lot to do here before actually fighting the boss, but we're really close to the boss. Uh, after we defeat the boss, uh, after we defeat the boss, the rest of the game is really, really easy in comparison. Uh, there is only one more boss that uh, is going to uh, be really difficult, in my opinion. Uh, although, some bosses I find really hard, other people find really easy, and some bosses I find really easy, other people find really hard. But, in my opinion, uh, this next boss we're gonna fight is the hardest boss uh, in the base game. Not, not like, if we're counting DLC. Like, if we're counting DLC, then definitely not the hardest boss. But if we're talking main game, the hardest boss just in my opinion and only one other boss uh is actually hard but anyway we're gonna come down here actually and this area is basically a secret little uh fireplace of goodies uh okay we dropped down there okay well we're gonna get a lot of goodies and i mean a lot uh this place i know for a fact there are some mimics so we're gonna mimic check that one is a mimic yep uh stronger mimic too okay all right yep these guys you just want to go to the back of just a lot of enemies actually in this game you just want to go to the back and just attack mimics are definitely no exception and we got the occult club all right let's check 
this one and let's check this one okay both of these are good and we got the dragon tooth this is a really good weapon i think i'm gonna level up this weapon actually uh, i'm gonna try to get this one to plus 10 or i think it's plus 5 actually i think these only go up to plus 5 but you do need 10 dragon scales but i'm gonna probably do it with this one I believe it requires either 32 strength or 40 strength. It is a very heavy, heavy weapon. And we got Havel's uh, Great Shield. I don't even think we can use that yet, but... Uh... Oh yeah, we can't. Okay. I'm going to put back on the Knight Shield. Okay, let's check. Let's check. Okay, Havel's Gauntlets and Havel's Leggings. Basically, what we just got is the Havel Armor Set. Now, this armor set is one of the greatest in the game. I'm going to put it on uh, really quickly. Uh, but basically, uh, Havel was that guy we killed or like really early on in the game. He was actually using the Dragon Tooth against us, but now we have that and his armor. Yeah, so we uh, we basically do not go fast at all in these, but it provides a lot of protection. If we take off Havel's ring, oh, interesting. Okay, I'm at a high enough equip load to actually to actually wear his armor. And roll, because normally, huh, yeah, because I needed Havel's ring to actually use, um, use that in the past. Uh, my first Dark Souls playthrough, I kind of didn't really prioritize, uh, endurance as much, uh, mostly because I didn't know it was also tied to equip load. I thought strength was actually tied to equip load, uh, which it's, uh, it's actually not, uh, yeah, we're just going to put on the Elite Knight set again. We are actually going to look for another set called the, uh, I think it's the Silver Knight set. Um, I'll explain why, but I don't want to spoil anything. But we are going to be looking for another armor set and using it for the boss fight. Uh, I'm not going to explain why till we get to the boss fight, why we're using it. But uh, I do want to not spoil the boss before we get there. Obviously, if you want, uh, you can just look it up uh, on the, uh, the internet. But any anyway, now that we're down here, we got everything we can do on the first floor. We're going to go up the stairs. Again, if uh, you're low in Estes, just go back to the bonfire before coming back up here. But we're going to go all the way up and go. Make sure there are... I, are no knights around good uh this is a mimic i believe just well there we go and just one more heavy attack there we go yeah we're just gonna two shot these from now on because uh symbol of avarice interesting what is i'm gonna look up what that is actually because i don't think i i recall getting that but a uh, symbol of Avarice is. Oh, okay. That is. That's. That is dope as fuck. That is. Oh, man. I just looked up what that was. That is dope as fuck. Okay. That. I thought that was an item or something. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, man, I'm... <laughs> that... And <laughs> that is... Just... Fucking awesome. Okay, I'm putting that on now. Just because it looks... So badass. Alright, we got another one of these guys. My guess is that is a droppable... Item that is not guaranteed at all. But that... That is... <laughs> that is really really dope i am 
actually pretty excited about that now just because it looks really badass. Wow. Yeah, see, I just look like a monster now. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go into this room. There's gonna be a Black Knight here. Or not a Black Knight, but, uh, I think these are just called, I think they're called White Knights. I, I forget the name of them. Uh, but they're really only an Anna Orlando. Definitely one of my favorite enemies in the game just because, I don't know, they just, they kind of look like insects, like, like a wasp or something. <laughs> just with their helms. Oh, why is my health going down? Huh. My health is slowly going down. Oh. That is... That is interesting. My health goes down. Huh. That is interesting. Um, yeah, we're not going to be putting that on anymore because I guess it, uh, it drains our health, but still kind of looks cool. Uh, yeah, we're going to put back on this, uh, but yeah, that is still pretty cool looking though. Now that we're up here, I'm gonna open up the other doors. Um, I'm gonna kill this pesky archer first. This one isn't too dangerous. You just have to hold your shield up while charging at it. All right. Oh man, see these? These do a lot of damage. Uh, like a lot of damage. Um, and Orlando is a pretty difficult part of the game. And these guys are, these guys are real difficult to, uh, to, even, even for me. Uh, there we go. All right. Oh man, and we're already like halfway to leveling up. Anything out here? Nope. Doesn't look like there is much, but we can still go into these two rooms. Let's open this first door. Okay, we're gonna go there later. We'll open this door. Okay. All right, we're going through here. Uh, anything in this? Nope. Um. All right, uh, I feel like something is going to jump out at me. Oh, it looks like we have some pictures of people. Not sure if they relate to the story at all. I've never really noticed that before. Okay, um, I think if we open this door, we're going to get ambushed. I think enemies are going to... Nope. Hmm. Weird. Really weird. There's an enemy right here, though. Um, yeah, these guys, when they do their uh, shield uh, thing that they just did, they take a lot of stamina. Like, a lot and a lot of stamina. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, my stamina is pretty high, though. Uh, so that's not really... I think too many problems. Uh, anything on the other side? Nope. We're going up. Up the stairs. Okay, actually, I'm gonna go back down here. And oh shit, they just got me through the fucking wall. Wow, okay. Okay, oh fuck. Okay, I did not mean to turn there. Ah. Okay, okay, the camera angle is really fucking weird weird. Um What the fuck? Okay. Whatever. Oh come on, really? 
Oh, come on. Bullshit. No, fuck you, cunt. Yeah, there we go. Alright, um... We're gonna go back up. Okay, we're gonna... I think we go straight. Yeah, we're gonna go straight, I think. Yeah, we go straight. Um, we're gonna come back here later and go down that other tower, but for right now... Oh, come on. Stop guarding, you pussy. Okay. We're gonna go down. Just keep going down until... We're down. Alright, now we're gonna open up both of these doors. Oh no, oh no, we have to go. Go to the right one. Left one has a Titanite Demon. Right one will give you a shortcut, so that's why we're gonna go to this one right here. We're gonna go down. There will be two more of these guys. Um, there we go. Oh, come on. How did I not even fucking hit him? What the fuck? Ugh. No. Oh, come on, bitch. Seriously. See, how does that not... Ugh. Come on, I fucking hate these guys. Come on. Seriously, I can't even get a fucking hit. There we go. Okay, we don't have to get that guy yet. We can, we can go back to the bonfire, but that's going to be a short cut that we have. A uh, nice short cut. Now we're going to go back to our... I think it's on this side. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure where Solaire is. Normally Solaire is here. I... Maybe because I... No. Solaire should be here. That's odd. Oh no, we don't need to go here. Uh... Uh, fucking muscle memory. Okay, we are gonna have to kill this guy. Okay. Fine. There we go. Now, these guys drop like a thousand souls each, but now we're gonna go into this room. We are gonna get that treasure. I hope it's the armor set that we are looking for. If I don't find it soon, I will have to look up online how to get it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to kill this guy, get whatever is in those chests. But yeah, come here. There we go, huh? This is how we play Dark Souls. Like that. All right. I'm just gonna put back my Pyromancy Flame. I don't think it does much here. Uh, but, uh, let's hit this one. Okay. Alright, we actually do. Silver Knight, there we go. This is the armor that we are going to want to use. Uh, there we go. I'll, I'll explain why, uh, once we actually get to the boss next video, but we are going to want to equip the Silver Knight armor set for a specific reason. Oh yeah, and we can we can even run in it just because our uh, our equip load is is uh, so high. We have like 102 or at 102. How much would it be actually without Hell's Ring? Yeah, we'd be at 68. Okay. Yeah, without Havel's Ring, we are just 
going really slow, but yeah, with Apple's ring and with the endurance that we are at, man, we're just... Man, if we get that endurance up a little bit higher, we can go even faster. I'm gonna see if I can kill the Titanite Demon, or... Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you where the boss is right now, but we're not gonna go fight the boss yet. Uh, but you can do whatever you want. Uh, again, um, if you're at a really high soul count like I am, like 19,000, um, don't fight the boss. It just isn't a good idea, but I believe the boss... Yeah, the boss is going to be, if you go down the stairs, and if you go into that boggy door, that is the boss that took me 10 hours to beat on my first try. That is the boss I was not able to kill again when I played this game again on Xbox for the gamer score. I tried playing Dark Souls again just for the gamer score. Even then, I was not able to beat this boss because it is that hard. Although, I am pretty confident that with, uh, with the extra up grades that I've done to my weapon, and with the increased amount of endurance I have, that uh, hopefully it is a much easier fight. So yeah, these guys right here are real annoying. Um, they are a lot harder to kill. Okay, I can't I can't fight them through the Okay, he's gonna fall down. We're gonna actually uh here, all right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get this guy to we're gonna try to Yeah, that's how we do it. Yep. Gotta ch uh cheese this game. Alright, come here. Come here. Yeah, if we if we like two hand that and like jump down on him. Like, yeah, that's, that's gonna do wonders. Oh, okay, come up, come up the stairs. There we go, come up, come up, come up. Do, 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 do. Okay, missed. Oh, okay, and took fall damage. Uh, what's here? Oh, we got a Titanite chunk from killing this. Nice. Okay, we have an archer uh, trying to attack us. <laughs> come here. Okay, that, that, I think, would really hurt us if we were closer. And, uh, yeah, we're already getting kind of hurt. Uh, all I'm doing right now is opening a gate that is kind of optional. I'm just doing it because I'm trying to do everything in the game uh, that I can. Uh, so we're currently, the, the reason we're going down here right now is to open something. But, yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's see if he drops another Titanite chunk. Okay, no, it is a drop that can or cannot happen, but we're going to go here. We're going to open this door. This door is going to lead to... I think we opened the door with that, actually. I don't think we can open... Yeah, we can't. We have to go over here and just, uh, just push that lever. All right, let's see it. There we go, and that is, of course, just the gate uh, that we saw earlier. Um, that goes all the way back down to uh, that bonfire. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna fight the boss uh, yet, though. Uh, actually, I am going to level up uh, really quickly just. Uh, I'm going to get my endurance up just to really make this a lot easier. You could also get vitality up, although uh, it is pretty high. I'm probably going to get my endurance up to... My endurance up to like 40, maybe. And then get... Uh, actually, should we... Uh, let me try to actually... Mm, no, I'm going to kill that guy after leveling up just because I don't want to risk dying and having to get my blood stain. 
All right. Um. Yeah, this this is a pretty long video as well. We're already at like an hour and almost ten minutes. Wow. Yeah, I'm really on that grind. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna get that endurance up. We are at level 60. Give yep, level 60. I do recommend you be at at least level 50 before fighting this boss. Uh, any levels after that um, would be helpful. Level 60 is a good place to get to. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and I am going to take off the uh, Covetous Serpent Ring and uh, put on one that will actually help us in combat uh, before we actually fight the boss. But uh, first we have to uh, kill a Titanite Demon and then say hi to another blacksmith that, uh, that exists in Anor Lanto. Or just... Gonna oh wait no. No, where am I? Okay, that that is right. Yep. I'm also going to show you the boss route because there is a really quick boss route or just a place you want to go. One thing in Dark Souls that like makes the game a little bit annoying is that like bosses are always away from the bonfire, so you do have to like travel quite a bit to get to each boss. Uh Thankfully, uh, in like, uh, in Sekiro and in uh, Elden Ring, it isn't really that big of a problem. And in Dark Souls 3, I don't think it's uh, as bad. Dark Souls 2, it's really bad, uh, but Dark Souls 1, it's like, it's not great. I don't like having, oh, come on, I have my fucking shield up. Fuck, okay, let's hope he doesn't kill us. Alright, uh okay, we don't even have that many Estus yet. I haven't I haven't leveled up the bonfire yet. Uh but yeah. Oh man, see we're not even doing too much damage to him anymore. Cause I've killed uh so many. <laughs> yeah, that was a breeze earlier. It is no longer a breeze. Um Another thing I am going to mention is that uh, with Black Knight weapons and also with other weapons, some of them do scale with uh, strength and some do scale with dexterity. So upgrading your strength uh, will uh, increase damage output. I don't think it's as important as like vitality or endurance still. Uh, we, we are still going to try to get that... Uh, that level 40 strength. I'm gonna go for level 40 strength uh, by the time the video or the video series ends. Now, what's really creepy about these guys is that it looks like their face is just like half off. Like th this is a really weird creature. Like it just looks really weird. There we go. All right, killed it. And we got two demon titanites. Nice. Anything else to do here? Nope. All right. Well, perfect. We're gonna go here. We are going to go here. No. Up a little bit. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna go. No, we're gonna. Actually, yeah, I know where we're going. I'm trying to think about where the place is. We also have a lot of uh, souls uh, to spend on uh, blacksmith upgrades. Uh, so yeah, you can kill a bunch of those uh, knights. Uh, silver knights is what they're called uh, to get more souls for upgrading stuff. But we're gonna talk to another blacksmith. Thankfully, we don't have to go all the way back to Andre. And this blacksmith, I believe, can actually do something Andre cannot, which is forge boss weapons. 
so I'm not, I don't think we have anything yet, but, uh, or any weapon to actually ascend yet, but basically, we have all these, uh, souls that we are not using. Soul of the Moonlight Butterfly, Soul of Quaylag, and, uh, Core of an Iron Golem. You can acquire many souls by eating it, bad idea, or you can create a unique weapon, which is what you should do. Because souls are everywhere, these are not. Uh, we have a Dragon Slayer Great Bow now, and a one Dragon Slayer Arrow, it's like only one, alright. Okay, where, this is where we go, yep, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop attack, don't want to deal. With its shit. Okay. Ah, just fucking hate these things. Ah, come on. There we go. Let. Let's see, talk to Andre, or not Andre, this is, nothing to modify, could, reinforce weapon, alright, let's see, we have enough to upgrade the Drake sword, we're not gonna do that. Oh yeah, we can get the dragon tooth up to quite a bit. Lightning spear. That does quite a bit of damage. Um, Alright, so I'm going to do research on how to get best weapon through. Like, lots of the gamer score in this game that you get is just best weapon through this, best weapon through that. This takes a titanite chunk. Okay. This is a crystal weapon, though. This takes a titanite shard. Hmm. What does a divine or a, a lightning weapon just takes a chunk? An occult weapon takes a white titanite chunk. Huh. I can, uh... Hmm. Oh, looks like we can also get some of, uh, some of these. Arch Titanite Shard. Shalila, how many can we buy? Yeah, I'm gonna buy three of these. Oh, and I think these might be in unlimited uh, supply. They might not be limited, which, if that is the case, I just have to farm a bunch of souls and then keep going to him to buy more stuff. Uh, so anyway, yes, that that wraps up this video. Oh man, this uh, this is not gonna be fun. Okay, next episode is the uh, the boss that I really don't like fighting because it is so difficult. Okay, well, I'm going to show some ways to. Uh, the boss a little bit easier uh you can but is solar even soul layer isn't even there why is soul layer just just not there he should he should be there i i don't know why soul layer is not sitting by the bonfire it does not make any sense whatsoever hmm. i didn't kill him at all 
Although, fun fact, I did kill Solaire by mistake in, uh, in my first, uh, my first, uh, run through of the game. I killed Solaire because I accidentally put my controller down, and, uh, this is what happened. Uh, I aggroed him, he got mad at me, I killed him, I, uh, yeah, that was not fun at all, but where, where the fuck is he? Okay, whatever, um, yeah, that is going to be the end of this video, uh, thank you all for watching.